Hello and welcome to another how-to video. This video is going to cover setting up the RTL SDR solution from scratch as a few people have had issues with getting it up and running especially around the USB drivers. There are two main applications that the RTL SDR community use. The first one is SDR Sharp and the other is HD SDR. SDR Sharp is definitely the easiest one to get up and running with first and once that's running and you've installed all the drivers um, it would be worth looking into HD SDR which is the one I prefer. So we'll get started. We will open up Chrome and we will simply search for SDR Sharp and the first result don't ask me why Bing is set to the default search engine on this machine, but the first result, sdrsharp.com. And we go to the Downloads tab here. And if we scroll down, we'll find the SDR install zip here under Important Note for RTL SDR Users. So this is a really helpful script that downloads all the applications you need, including SDR Sharp, of course, and installs all the drivers and things ready for you. So we'll go to our downloads, and we'll open up another explorer. And in this one, we'll go to temp. And we'll extract their zip file to SDR install in temp. Obviously you can put this wherever you want. And we simply just run the install.bat. So just double click on that and it will go ahead and download all of the required applications. And now that that's downloaded, we go into the SDR Sharp folder and scroll down to the bottom and you'll see ZA Diag. So if you right click on that and run as administrator, you'll now see a list of the USB devices inside ZA Diag. So at this point I'm going to plug the RTL SDR in. This is the first time this device has ever been plugged into this machine. And we'll see the message saying the de device driver software was not successfully installed. We can just ignore that. And we can now see in here two Vulkan interfaces, interface 0 and interface 1. Sometimes this will have the name, so it will actually say the brand name of whatever device that you have. Other times it just says bulk in, um, but it will always have interface 0 and interface 1. So we'll pick interface 0 to begin with, and we want the Win USB driver to be selected in here. So there's a few options, but as long as it says Win USB, and we click Install Driver, and install this driver software anyway and we've got a message saying that the software was installed successfully and we'll do the same for interface 1 as well and as far as drivers go that's pretty much it so now we can fire up SDR Sharp and we'll maximize this and if we drop down the drop down on the top left here we select RTL SDR USB and we'll pick a frequency anything above my particular dongle will do anything between 24 megahertz up to 1.7 gigahertz so as long as we pick somewhere in that range we click play and there we are now receiving so if we pick a frequency that we know should have signal and it changes to FM and 
uh, we have our commercial radio stations. They'll cater for both retail and trade. They've got the best bathroom. So that's SDR Sharp pretty much up and running. Now I actually prefer another program called HD SDR. So we'll grab that. We'll just close that. And we'll do a search for HD SDR. Again, click on the first link, HD SDR homepage. And we'll go to the bottom. So we scroll to the bottom of the page and click download. And while that's downloading, we'll go to hardware. And we also need to download the DLL file for the RTL, which is along the bottom here. So we'll grab DLL here. And download. Now if we go back to our downloads folder, we can see those two downloads. So we'll install HDSDR and run. And it's just a simple next, next, next install. And we won't launch it just yet because we will open that up in another window. And we'll bring the external IO RTL DLL file into that folder. And now we'll run the software. Once we've got this selection screen, just press OK to accept the defaults. And we'll maximize it. And we can see here the XIO button's already highlighted, so it's found that plugin. And if we click on it, we can change the device details here. Or we can simply hit down the bottom here, Start. And that's now receiving. We'll just change our bandwidth up a little bit so we can hear that. And change it to FM. So that's both applications up and running. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next video.